guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today we are back with another unboxing of BoxyCharm. Now, if you guys have been around for a while, you've seen that I've had uh, some love-hate things going on with BoxyCharm lately. At the start of this channel, I was a huge supporter. I loved them endlessly, and I would walk to the ends of the earth to support them. And um, yeah, that changed a little bit over the past couple months. We did go ahead and price lock ourselves in when they did the uh, price change. We price locked ourselves in for the year, so we're getting it for a full year. And we are still Boxy Lux subscribers as well. So this month is a Boxy Lux month. So this is an additional $28.99 on top of um, what the normal box price would be. I believe the normal box price now is $25. But with our price locked in, we paid a lump sum for the entire year and we paid 19 for the box originally. So it is a $50 subscription box for this particular month. That being said, I have seen some of the spoilers about what is in the Boxy Lux. I know for a fact we're getting a palette from a brand that I really love, so I'm very excited for that. But I don't know much else about it, so without any other uh, delays, we're gonna hop on into the subscription box. While I'm trying not to stab myself, now's a good time to say, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. We're fun here, we're entertaining, we do a lot, we post a lot, we uh, I'm gonna stab myself, so that's always fun to watch, you know? Okay, so, just initially, I love the theme this month, it is Boxy Charm Whimsy, which when I start talking about the palette that I know that I'm getting, it will make a lot more sense, because I'll talk about why I love that so much. But, fat bubble wrap. Fat bubble wrap, yeah! Anyway, first things we got in here. I've got some aerosol cans, so that's always fun to start off with. Oh, okay. That was a that was a fun that was a fun noise that just came out of my mouth. So this is IGK. I had not used IGK before a boxy charm like two months ago, and I got a I think it was like a leave-in conditioner or something like that uh, from them. It's like a little gold tube that is incredible. You put it in your hair when it's wet and it just, I love it. I, it changes my hair every time I use it. So this is the same brand and this is a first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. I love dry shampoo. I live on it, especially when I have my hair colored crazy colors like the very faded purple it is right now. Um, the more I can go without showering, the better because it keeps my, uh, my color lasting longer. And I really also like the effects of charcoal just in terms of everything. I like charcoal masks. I like charcoal hair things. I like charcoal Epsom salts. So, uh, so yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I think that's a really nice asset in there. Um, and it's a really, uh, everything's full size, but it's a really good size bottle. So I'm excited about that as well. The next thing we have is the Rituals, uh, the Ritual of Sakura. It is a sen sensational foaming shower gel. I've actually received a pretty good number of like sample sizes and like decent sized sample sizes. And then I've gotten a couple full size uh, products from this, from like Ulta free gifts and things like that. And I really like this brand. It smells really nice. It is a foaming body wash. So it just is very like, calming i don't know why when things foam i'm like yes like foaming shower gels and foaming hand soaps and like the foaming like face washes i'm just like bubbles so i am excited to get that um the mini ones i normally bring with me on vacation so this is a nice big full size version of that and i am excited to have that as well i'm moving into the lower section now anyway i don't know what to grab first there's a lot of things i want to talk about it's like there's like stuff all over it feels like doesn't feel like product, not like when I opened the one Ipsy and it was broken. It feels like it's like glue. Like there's like glue shed everywhere. Nikkei. Nikkei. Anyway, so this is QMS. I believe we've gotten some stuff from them as well. This is a lip line corrector, lip serum. I don't know what that means and I don't know what that does. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have no idea what to, oh. Well, one, well, I was trying to twist the top off and look. Look at that. What? So no matter what, that's entertaining as hell. Okay, yeah, so I don't know what to do with this, but I'm gonna play with that bottle, I can tell you that. Uh, next thing I see is a product from Elmis. I really like Elmis, and most of the stuff I've gotten from Elmis has come from either BoxyCharm or Ipsy. And this is a Pro Collagen Rose Face Oil. I believe I was able to choose this as one of my, um, yes, I did, I chose this one as one of my, um, my product choices for it because they've allowed uh, customization for these boxes now. And I'm very excited about this. It is a, it's just a uh, soothing face oil that it does help 
collagen simulation. Obviously, collagen is the thing that goes in there and makes sure your skin stays nice and wrinkle free. So I chose to pick this up. Um, it gave me this and between this and a, the choice of maybe it was like a Kate Somerville like goat milk mask or something. And I actually was kind of leaning towards the other one, but then I uh, used my brains for once and I Googled which one was more expensive and it was this one. So I chose this one. So, but I am very excited for it. I really like Elemis, like I said. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I think that's a really nice little asset in this here box. The next thing we got is a Too Faced Melted Matte Talic Lip Gloss. Uh, and I really like the Too Faced Lip Gloss or lipsticks. It's not really a lip gloss because it does, it's like a mattifying lipstick, but this is a really pretty neutral color too. A lot of times they send us like the red that's on my lips right now. I got in a Baxi charm a little while ago. It's a great color. It's just not one that I would use normally, but this is one that I feel like I could use daily. So I really like that. It is in the shade Faking It. So let's just for, for funsies, let's go ahead and swatch it on the back of our hand. <gasps> yeah, it's got like this nice metallic effect to it. So it's like a really pretty neutral shade, but it's just got like just a, sh a slight sheen to it. So that's what it looks like. So that's a really pretty color. So I'm excited about that. That's a nice one as well. Um, so far, everything I've gotten in this box, we haven't even really jumped into like the, the main part of it, in my opinion. So uh, I'm thinking this box is like a, a, a big winner for the, for the boxies. Ooh, cool. Okay, so this is a Kat Von D dagger tattoo liner. I don't really care that much about eyeliners normally, and I have like a whole large collection of them, but I've heard great things about this particular liner. So um, it just comes in like a nice little pen. And then um, it's got like a winged tip on it, if you guys can see that. So it's like not just a nice flat tip, it is like a little bit of an angled tip. So I'm excited to use that as well. We also have a Ciate London Marble Light Illuminating Blusher. So I'm guessing this is like one of those nice pretty blush shades that has like a lot of reflectiveness to it as well. I love Ciate London. They have some of my favorite products that I've ever received in BoxyCharm, including that really pretty glitter uh, eyeshadow, that liquid eyeshadow that I got and I love dearly. And this is just a, once again, a really pretty neutral blush shade and it does just have a slight reflective tint to it, but it's not going to be overwhelming. Everything I'm getting here, I'm really loving guys. And I really think they've done a very nice job of staying in with that whimsy theme. Nothing too crazy, very along those lines of like, oh, pretty dewy glowy and neutral shades. And I just, I'm, I'm impressed. Okay, the next thing we got is a fresh soy face cleaner and it is like the biggest cleanser I've ever received. It's, it's, giant. It is five fluid ounces and it it's just, you know, a normal face cleaner. I know the brand Fresh, but I don't use them a ton, but um, I like like soy and goat milk face cleaners a lot. I feel like they really do a nice job of going in there and kind of like without harshly attacking your skin, getting it nice and like soft and cleaned and, and all that good stuff. Um, and especially during the winter time, my skin really gets dry and cracks a lot. So that's a nice thing to have during this time period. Now we're down to the end of the box. And this is the moment of truth because if it's broken, I'm going to be very sad and I don't know what to expect anymore when I receive things. But this is what I was most excited for. I did see this as a spoiler. Um, I'm actually kind of sad that I wasn't able to get one of the little boxes as well because they offered like two different variations of a smaller version uh, in a little box and in the little boxes, the normal size boxes. And I kind of wanted them. So not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed about that. But this is the Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales. This is Little Briar Rose. So inside of it, you get all these pretty shades. Look at how pretty those are. They're so along the lines of whimsy. Now the ones for the normal boxes, I saw like a green and a pink one. I think there was Little Red Riding Hood and Robin Hood. And I really like the Little Red Robin Hood one, but this one is just absolutely gorgeous. You got this really nice Prince shade in blue. You've got Kiss, which is a really pretty reflective pink, and then Beauty, which is like a darker red. There's just a lot to work with here. And like I said, this is really um, doing a nice job of going along the lines of like that whimsy and uh, all that good stuff. So overall, I think we got a great value in this box. I know I feel like it was more than worth the $50 that was spent on it, but just to uh, be certain, they promise that these boxes are over $300 in value. We're going to do a little testy and see how much each product is retailed at and then add it up. So the first thing is the Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tale Little Briar Rose Palette. 
that is um, retailed at $55. Some people may think that that seems a little bit steep. However, I do have the, um, the Burn Book, which is the Mean Girls palette from their collection, and it was $55 as well. And I believe it is the same size, maybe a little bit smaller as the Briar Rose one, but it's virtually the same size. So that sounds about right. So $55 right there. Then we have the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil, which is a retail value of $79, which is what the internet told me as well. So that's an expensive one. Once again, I would not pay $79 for it, but I mean, Boxy Charm can send it to me. I'm fine with that. The Ciate London Marbled Light Illuminator Blusher is $26 in retail value. The Soy Face Cleaner is $48. Uh, I don't agree with that, but that's what they're saying it is. So it's $48 in retail value. Oh! Yo. Yo, you thought that was bad. Guess, guess how much. Guess how much they're saying this is worth. Just guess. 50. Times four. 200 for me to do this all day. That's what this is. That's all I'm gonna do with this. Not really, I'll probably use it, but like, what, what? All right, so I don't agree with that, but okay, so the whole retail box right there is a 200 for that. All right, moving on. Um, wow, that really shook me. I'm not okay. Um, the uh, dry shampoo is $27 in retail value. The Kat Von D liner uh, is $20 in retail value. The Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick is $21 in retail value. And the Rituals Shower Gel is $9.50 in retail value, which is a whopping total of $485.50 for this box. Now, I don't agree with the $200. I mean, they can charge whatever they want. I ain't never gonna pay that for this, but whatever. But, um. So basically we got almost a $500 box for 50 bucks. Like I said, I felt like it was a great value and um, yeah, having added it up, I would agree that aside from maybe one or two really exaggerated priced things, uh, that this is a, a very good value. So BoxyCharm, I mean, like I said, I've been mad at them a little bit recently, but aside from a couple really bad boxes and like one bad experience with them trying to take a payment from us, it is still, in my opinion, worthwhile to have it, which is why I'm glad we didn't cancel it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps. And uh, like I said at the beginning, if you haven't subscribed to the page yet, please do so. We really need uh, love and affirmation and all those nice things. So please do so. It helps us our, a lot, okay? Just please, just... I'm... Anyway, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And as always, I hope you stay girly with a dark twist.